Hi everyone, uh, it's Sunny from Serenity Canine Academy. Um, today we're actually not going to go for a walk, but um, we're actually going to be doing a dog sport called dog jumping. You may have heard of it. Um, in Victoria, we actually don't have a proper uh, purpose-built facility. Uh, so this will have to do you'll see what I'm talking about but if you google dog jumping and you can see what uh, the guys in the US are doing um, there are also some footage you should be able to find some footage of uh, what we've been doing in Australia as well um, some other states actually do have um, proper facility built like a proper race dock but we don't have that um, and this is the flash he is actually enjoying jumping um, what you need would be a dog that likes swimming uh, that's the first one um, but just because they like swimming on the beach um, or you know in a pond uh, doesn't mean that they would you know like doing swimming in a swimming pool so it does take some getting used to um, some dogs actually take to it like nothing they have it to go one time twice maybe and then they're okay but for flash here it did take a little few goes um, before we actually uh, you know managed to get him to jump confidently from the side of the pool uh, so this is a purpose-built pool uh, for dogs uh, that we are gonna go to we are at um, Wolf swim team in Nary Warren. Uh, so we'll see um, what we'll get to and uh, we'll put this on him. And uh, yeah, check it out. Ready? Thank <laughs> you. 
right guys there you go so we did our first jump um sorry the camera is still a bit wet there um so as you can see uh, you need to probably it will work better i suppose not need but it will work better if you have a dog that loves water um loves their toy as well so they have to be motivated somehow um and also don't be discouraged if your dog doesn't jump the first go like i previously said you know sometimes it takes several goes before you actually can get what you wanted from your dog working out um, you know how you're going to throw it what method you'll do it because that's not the only way like what I did before it's not the only way that you can actually uh, get your dog to jump this works better for us I get him to wait and then actually chase the toy after um, so we're just waiting for our second turn uh, there are some dogs here that are really really awesome uh, we have actually competed um, uh, in the past we're against other teams from all over Australia and um, he did well enough for <laughs> uh, in his class he is only a little dog um, but he's really excited to have another go and um, yeah so don't be discouraged this is a fun dog the community the community is actually really supportive as well um, so yeah like if you wanted to give it a go uh, write a comment um, ask us how we started it as well um, and um, we can go from there so um, till our next jump oh also of course be ready to get wet because you definitely will get wet <laughs> So um, you'll see that there are several different methods on um, how to get your dog to wait and jump. 
some people would throw their um, toy first and wind their dog back to actually jump um, so I got Flash to actually um, wait and give him a command go <laughs> um, he's super super excited which is why he is squeaking um, we've got some issues with our GoPro <laughs> it just flies around too much but um, other than that I think we sorted it out and then we'll have another go okay jumps for today we in total we've got 15 jumps um, we did it in uh, five so we had three turns and that's actually really good because what you wanted to do is not to get your dog to actually over jump I learned that the hard way during my uh, during our first competition there you know I got him too wired when they're too wired they don't actually jump that well because um, they are getting too tired um, so obviously um, now we learn to actually pace it a little bit more um, I learn how to actually throw um, but all in all it's just fun and of course um, one more thing that I forgot to mention is that you need to have reasonably good recall for your dog um, 
so they need to actually come back to you from the pool we have had occasions uh, during the competition uh, in the past where uh, the dog that jumped actually wouldn't come back to the owner and that you know that presents a little bit of a problem as funny as that could look for the rest of us um anyway so there we go um any questions like i said shoot us a line ask us a question but um yeah appreciate the like of this video and also hit that subscribe button um so you get notified the next time we actually post more videos uh, so here's uh, the flash and i um, he's just too happy rolling around there after his swim <laughs> so the flash and i we're signing off um, take care until the next time bye